Hey lovely people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this video and where you're watching me from. It's your sister again, Gift C, and you're welcome to Gift C Vlogs, okay? So I bring to you the gist of a young Nigerian lady known as Greatness Olorun Femi, a member of Young African Leaders Initiative Network. She was a victim of one chance, okay? If you are from Nigeria or you stay in Nigeria, you should be familiar with the story of one chance vehicle, okay? When I say one chance, what we mean is when you enter a wrong vehicle, if you are traveling to anywhere, maybe near or far, there are vehicles we call one chance vehicle, okay? These people they present themselves as transporters and they come in form of a cab or a bus just in any form and they will they will ask you where you're going to you will tell them where you're going to they will pretend as if they are going your way and you will enter you will enter the vehicle and these people why they call the one chance is you you entering the vehicle you are the last person you know to enter the vehicle because that's the only chance remaining you will think that other people that are in the vehicles that are also traveling just like you are traveling and along the way <laughs> there you have wicked people are along the way when you people start approaching you know a lonely area where vehicles are not passing you know that much they start acting funny some of them we start you know discussing about how to make money and all that why some we just go straight to the point you know snatch your back from you open the car and push you out of the car not minding if you will get injured or not not minding that they are risking someone's life what their interest is is just to snatch whatever thing the person was holding and they would just push the person out of the car so this young lady greatness or not Rufemi, she was victim of this one chance so she entered the vehicle and unfortunately it was one chance vehicle along the way they push her out of the vehicle imagine pushing someone out of a moving vehicle not that they will stop the vehicle and push the person out no the vehicle the vehicle will be on speed and they will push the person out of the vehicle so she was pushed out of the vehicle and she sustained injury you know a moving vehicle for that matter so some good samaritans saw her when she was pushed out of the vehicle they took her to matiama and general hospital abuja on getting to the hospital the doctors and nurses on duties started requesting for a police report before they could attend to this young lady greatness or laurel femi imagine requesting for a police report on someone that is on emergency so they could not provide the police report immediately because a police report is not something that you will just get on a, a snap of a finger it requires some process you know so these people did not come with a police report because this is somebody they saw on the way and they decided to help to save the life of this person so since they did not provide the uh, police report immediately what the doctors and nurses that were on duty did was to shut the, the hospital door against them yes they shut the door against them and they could not um, accept the young lady for treatment so the young lady died there yeah, she she passed away she could not survive she could not make it because the doctors and the nurses on duties refused to attend to her immediately this was her this young lady full of life and with a promising future full of plans and all that this was how she lost her life because of the doctors and the nurses refused to attend to her because of a um, police report so lovely people let me know your thoughts on the comment section what do you think about this police report of a teen because the the way they are going about it here in nigeria is not really nice you know people in the western world people in the you know western world us for example they said if anyone is on emergency if anyone just comes to the hospital as in in form of emergency that they will treat the person even if the person is a criminal the doctors on duties the nurses on duties they will first of all attend to the person 
why after doing that then the police will begin their own work you know so i think the nigerian hospital should also bring this into the nigerian hospital we really need this okay human life is not something you joke with imagine if they could have attended to this young lady greatness she wouldn't have died she would have survived then after attending to her you can start making your investigation and 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 all that not you rejecting somebody that is unconscious because you want a police report that you know that they cannot you know have it immediately that it will take some time for them to provide it so this is just it is so sad it's so sad. so the coordinator young african leaders initiative network abuja miss oladeo she said they got a report of rejection from the you know emergency session of the matiama general hospital abuja and this is what she said we are currently engaging with the nigerian police to investigate the matter even as we feel matiama general hospital contravened the national health act that was passed in 2014 and in quote here the law states that a health care provider health worker or health establishment shall not refuse a person emergency medical treatment for any reason and anyone that goes against the law is liable to a fine of 100,000, a jail, a jail term of six months, or both bone conviction. So this is what the coordinator of the Young African Leaders Initiative Network, Abuja, this is what she said. She was so angry. Everybody, not only her, everybody, we are all angry about what, what happened to this young lady. So she said... They are currently on investigation with the Nigerian police to find out what really happened at the hospital. If really the doctors and nurses on duties shot, you know, their door against the young lady that was brought in as emergency, that was brought into the hospital for treatment. And she also said that they are currently working, they are currently working to, you know, with the Nigerian police to check how they can fight this one chance people because this this is not the only person it has happened to. So many people are victim of one chance. So let's see and let's check how the Nigerian police will be able to work on this one chance something because that started getting close to the end of the year and everybody wants to meet up to go and show people in the village and all that that they ha they've arrived so people do so many things in order to meet up this young lady went through all this and those on duty could not come to her rescue it's so annoying it's, it's not really nice to hear at all why did the nigerian doctors and nurses they have their claim and their claim is that Anytime that they want, anytime that they treat anyone on an emergency without a police report, Nigerian police always, you know, attack them by shutting down the hospital, you know, that by shutting down the hospital, especially private hospital, you know, making troubles with them and all that, questioning them why they did not, you know, have access to the police report before administering treatment to the to the victim so this has made them to always ask for a police report before they attend to anyone that they you know bring in in form of emergency this is the claim of nigerians and doctors and nurses that because the nigerian police disturb them a lot that's why they have stopped treating anybody that they bring in in form of emergency without a police report why the nigerian police in the other hand said that the request for a police report on anyone that they are treating on emergency that they request that the doctors get reports to the police within two hours you know during the treatment or after the treatment that they should make sure they report to the nigerian police within two hours so it's just as if these two set of people they are fighting or they are competing or they are they are they are trying to you know show more i don't really understand this is people's life for goodness sake you don't joke with people's life life that you cannot give you don't joke with it so the nigerian government government should 
try their best to clarify this keep it clear and give the doctors a go ahead order to attend to anyone that they present to them as emergency please life is important it's no good for us to joke with anybody's life it can happen to anyone to know that the doctors and the nurses we just focus on their job which is to save life okay so lovely people this is all i have for you today this is a sad story of a nigerian lady a young nigerian lady greatness on our friend i just let me share this with you people and let me also know your thoughts you know on the comment section what do you think about this we need to cry out okay so that the nigerian government can do can do something about this so that they can pull this to an end saving of life is very important thank you so much for watching if you have watched up to this extent and you are not yet subscribed please consider subscribing don't forget to like this video and share it and as for my returning subscribers thank you so much for always stopping by to show me love and support i really do appreciate okay see you lovely people on my next video bye